Isn't it high time you break the wheel and save everyone distress? I beg your pardon? What has my pardon got to do with you reading the wheel? Now, listen, young man, this is an office. I demand you have a degree of respect for this office. You don't barge into my office and talk to me in that manner. I hope you are still normal. If you are not, I suggest you go to the psychiatric hospital. Please. Oh, really? This is what you got to say, right? One more unguided utterance from you. I am going to call the security operatives to throw you out of this place. Mm. Yes. You are talking to a law practitioner. Right. I'm not here for this. I want to remind you what you said. You said, Barista, that you will read the will immediately after the customary mourning period. What is holding you? Huh? Well, if you must know, I am coming over to the family house this weekend for the official reading of the will. Uh -huh. So you, you, you save yourself the drama. Now you have said something that I want to hear. I have a question for you. Why should we wait till weekend? Today is Monday. Why not today? Tomorrow. Are you remembering you are trying to teach me how to do my job? Is that what you are trying to do? No, I'm telling you to read my father's will. That's what I'm telling you, uh, uh, Parisa. Huh? Mr. Ebuka, I want you to leave this office and now. Okay, oh. But let the weekend be weekend. You know why I'm leaving quiet? Because I want you to read that will. If not, if not, why one man? Abum Aluciana Fuaya. Okay, more than We can't read that will. Else, you'll hear from me. I will leave. Tonya, please come immediately. Thank you. Ma'am, you, you called me? Yes, I did. Are you okay? Is everything alright with you? No. <clears throat> I've been having this feeling since... Oh my god. Your face is dull. I, th I think you need to see a doctor. That's why I called you. Okay. Is my brother in his office? No, I haven't seen him since morning. Okay. I want to go to the hospital, but I don't think I'll be returning to the office. So, go through this file and give me your report in the morning. Okay, I sure will. Um, do you need a hand? No, I'll be fine. Are you sure? I'll be fine. Okay. I, I will drop by. Not a problem, doctor. Okay. So, uh, is the result out? Uh, yes, yes, it's out. So, what is wrong with me? Well, Ma, you are okay. You are very much well. Nothing is wrong with you. <laughs> doctor, how can you say that I'm okay when I feel sick? Uh, do you need to rerun the test? No, 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 no. There's, there's no need for that. Um, let's just say this is a good sickness, as most of you would say.
Doctor, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I'll be on my way now. <laughs> oh my goodness. He will hear. Thank you, Doctor. I appreciate it. Thank you. God is good. Oh, wow. You know, I kind of suspected it's just that I didn't want to give you false hope. Well, I'm, I'm happy for you. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you, my dear Sonia. I mean, after I lost the last pregnancy, I, I was waiting and hoping before this one came. And now it has wiped away the scars of the one I lost. Of course. I'm grateful. Very happy for you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, look at who we have here. Hi. How are you? Fine. And you? I'm fine. <laughs> wow. Why not we go inside so that um, I entertain you no, so well? That won't be necessary. As you can see, I'm already on my way. Oh, really? Okay. Very well, then let me drop you off. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 my Uber is around. Yeah. Mm. Wait. Okay. Is that the one calling me? Mm. Yeah, I think he's here already. I'll be on my way then. Take care of yourself and then. Sure. <laughs> Bye. 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 <laughs> hey, Buka. You weren't seen at the office today. What happened? Mind your business. But this is my business. Ebuka, come back here. I'm talking to you, Ebuka. Stop right there. Stop right there. This, this is my business and you have to listen to me. Jesus Allah, what is your problem? Why are you bugging my life? I am not bugging you, Ebuka. I just know why you have refused coming to the office lately. Okay, fine. Your attention was needed at the office today as the HR. Well, you were nowhere to be found. Well, uh, that company is my company, right? So I have the right to come to work anytime I didn't fit, okay? Is that another thing? Because I want to go. So this is how you want to run your company? Was this how? Father was able to build this company to this level. You know, I relaxed the suspension that Father gave to you, thinking that you have changed. But it appears that I was wrong. Mm. Mm. I see. I can see that you still have the power to knock, even with your pregnancy. Well, let me make it clear to you. You will lose this pregnancy again since you haven't learned your lessons. And what do you mean by that? You heard me loud and clear. Well, at least I forget. Barista will be visiting. He will be coming by weekend to read the wheel. By then, I'm sure you will stay away from my business when I inherit all my father's properties, my rightful inheritance. Don't joke with me. Right? You want to keep this? Don't joke with me. Oh yeah? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, wow, my love, that reminds me. Yes. The barrister called. Oh, really? Yes, okay. he'll be coming this weekend to read the wheel. Oh, finally, finally. Uh, it's about time. It's really about time. So, you know, my wife can rest and concentrate a whole lot more. Let her emotions kind of calm down, huh? Yes, baby. 
And if everything goes well, you will get engaged with the company. <laughs> well, uh, uh, well, that would be nice, but uh, I don't think that's the most important thing now, okay? Sweetie, it's very important. I mean, it's beginning to choke me. <laughs> Honey, relax, okay? I think the first things first you should do is draw your scale of preference. Let the will be read first of all, all right? Other things can't wait. Okay, speaking of which, speaking of which, my wife was supposed to go for checkup today at the hospital. How did it go? Okay, about that. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hey, baby, <laughs> baby, <laughs> five weeks, five, five weeks pregnant, <laughs> <laughs> baby. <laughs> baby, I told you, sweetheart. Yes. Another come see your chukwu is growing inside me. I know, I know. I told you you were going to make it. I told you. You said so. I told you. Relax. Huh? This one will stay. Huh? I love this woman. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Okay. I love you so much, baby. I can't wait to carry my Don't baby worry, in my arms. Carry your baby, your arms. Relax. It's gonna happen. Okay. Baby. They say I don't go low Every day I don't think about you I know say I don't go live without you And anywhere you dare Not there I want to go Cause your love would be born like fire It is sweet in my body like sugar Sweet lover You captured my heart And you set me on fire I no go lie oh. Your love they sweet oh. Them ones spoil Meeting you was a pleasure. Marrying you was the biggest achievement of my life. And having my seed grow inside of you is the most treasurable gift I would ever receive. The flower is just to thank you for making me a man, for loving me, and for all the sacrifices. Please, send me well to Kamsi Yochuku. Tell him that he loves him. I love you, my lucky charm. I love you too, baby. They say I don't go low. Every day I don't think about you. I don't say I don't go live without you. And anywhere you dare, nothing. Come see my little one. Daddy sends his greetings. He can't wait to welcome you into this world. Just like me. And I know you can't wait to meet mommy and daddy. Right? I guess the answer is yes. That means we are on the same page. I love you, my little one. I'm tired. My house is becoming so boring. Can you believe that my sister now questions every of my movements? What? As in what? No, no. As your father or what? Eh? Doesn't she realize you are the first son there? Mm -hmm. I'm now the second son. I don't understand. Uh, if you're not the first son, then who? Who is now the first son if not you? That her foolish and stupid husband, of course. 
Isn't it obvious that she's trying to move the mantle to him? Mm. I think you are right. Ebuka, you are right. Maybe she wants to use her position in your father's company to put that guy ahead of you if you don't take time. If you don't take time, it will happen. That will never happen. I said it will not happen. Not when I'm alive. She can try, yes I know, but that's the limit she can go. You see, all this nonsense is because um, the barrister is yet to read the will. Uh, but I don't know why you're not doing anything about it. You know me now, you're not doing anything about it. If she sit up, when they sit up. Well, who told you I'm not doing anything about it? I am doing something about this. As a matter of fact, the barrister said he will be coming by weekend to read the wheel. That was because I was on his neck. Hey, hey Buka, now you are talking. Yeah? Now you are talking. Now you are acting like a street guy you are. Yeah? See, with this one now, eh, everybody will know their limit in that house. One day, Muranya Kazu. With this one now, everybody will know their limit. why you're smiling. I don't understand. One minute. Hello, babe. Are you in the hotel already? Oh, really? Okay, I'll be there shortly. Right? I know. Don't worry. I'll, I'll keep you waiting. I'm coming, okay? I love you. <laughs> All right. Okay. You got you love changing now. In our wap man who stayed. I will leave you now. Uh, um, see, you know, today is Friday. Catch fun, but be safe. Be safe. And you jump there. All right. I'm moving to Mong Alusiana for a year. Oh, yeah. See ya. Ngwan Udo. There are many reasons miscarriages can occur. If a miscarriage happens in the first three months of the pregnancy, which is the case here, we usually suspect an issue with the chromosome of the fetus. 
So, Doctor, what are you saying? Are you saying that everything you have mentioned right now are responsible? There are other causes like excessive intake of alcohol, smoking, and hard drugs. My husband can attest to that. I don't smoke, I don't take hard drugs, I don't take caffeine. I hardly, I don't even take alcohol. Of course, doctor. Baby, you know. Of course. I mean, I know my wife, and she never indulges in any of these vices. In that case, I will have to refer her to a gynecologist. I don't have a choice, whatever. I just want to go forward. I just, I just don't want to give birth to my own child. I can't continue like this. It's okay. It's okay. Um, doctor, I'll just advise um, you tell us where to go. I mean, make the necessary arrangements because we are right now very impatient. I will book an appointment as soon as possible and let you know. Thank you. saying anything to me, what is it? It has happened again. Pardon? I don't get oh. what has happened again. I have lost my pregnancy again. <sighs> How? Happened. I don't know. I can't explain it. I, I, I just woke up and saw it and 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 oh my god, I, I'm so sorry. Sarah, I, I'm I'm so sorry. I I perfectly understand how you feel right now. But did you see the doctor? What did he say? Nothing. Nothing? I don't get you. What do you mean by nothing? The doctor said I am medically sound. He didn't give any reason for the miscarriage. Which... I am confused, Tonya. Is... Is this how I'm going to end up? Does this mean that I'm not going to have my own child, no, my own baby? No, 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 no way. Don't ever say that again. Do not ever let that come out of your mouth again. Listen to me, Zara. You are not just going to have a baby. I mean, you are going to have babies. Your own baby, Zara. Okay? Listen to me. I do not like the way you are right now. You have to stop crying. I think at this point, you need to see a gynecologist. Alright? That's what my doctor said. He's arranged to one for me already. We'll be meeting in two days. Fine. Then you, you don't need to worry. You, you're not supposed to be crying, okay? Dry up your tears. If your doctor said you're medically sound, trust me, you are medically sound. Okay? <laughs> Maybe I, I, I just feel is one or two, you know, do's and don'ts. <laughs> they have to help you correct and there you are, you're good to go again. I just hope so, I just hope so because I don't know what will happen to my mental health if this happens again. Nothing will happen to your mental health. Zara, listen to me. You are a strong woman, all right? You can pull, pull out of this. You can pull through, all right? Listen, don't let this break you, okay? You have to be very strong. It's not that easy. Today is so easy. It's so easy. It's so easy. Sarah, listen to me. Can you stop crying, please? Sweetheart, listen. It's actually easier than you think. Okay? Listen. Listen. You don't know who to turn to. You don't know who. 
If what the gynecologist said is anything to go by, then the vessel is not the problem nor the seed. But what then could be the problem? There should be answers to this. Could this be a spiritual problem? <gasps> Wait a minute! Hey, Buga! I'm talking to you, Buga! This is my business and you have to listen to me. Chisala, Allah, what is your problem? Why are you bugging my life? I'm not bugging you, Ebuka. I just know why you have refused coming to the office lately. Okay, fine. Your attention was needed at the office today as a HR. But you were nowhere to be found. Well, uh, that company my company, right? So I have the right to come to work anytime I didn't fit, okay? Is there another thing? Because I want to go. So this is how you want to run your company? Was this how father was able to build this company to this level? You know, I relaxed the suspension that father gave to you, thinking that you have changed. But it appears that I was wrong. Mm. Mm. I see. I can see that you still have the power to knock, even with your pregnancy. Well, let me make it clear to you. You will lose this pregnancy again, since you haven't learned your lessons. And what do you mean by that? You heard me loud and clear. Well, at least I forget. Barista will be visiting. He will be coming by weekend to read the wheel. By then, I'm sure you will stay away from my business when I inherit all my father's properties, my rightful inheritance. Don't joke with me. Right? You want to keep this? Don't joke with me. Is Ebuka responsible for my miscarriages? He made reference to my pregnancy in such a manner and I'd lost the pregnancy soon after. Could it be him? Or is this just a mere coincidence? No. No. I'm not sure that this is a coincidence. I think he knows something about this. Oh. Come off it, Chizara. What are you saying? Ebuka is my brother and couldn't have possibly done something like that. God, God, I am confused. Should I tell my husband about this? No, never. This will further strain his relationship with Ebuka. God, what should I do? I would like to thank every one of you for being here today for this uh, epoch uh, meeting. Because I, I, I'm a barrister, please. I'm so sorry for cutting you short. But I thought this um, reading of the will is for the family alone. Yeah. Of course it is. So what is he doing here? Who? Educate. Uh, Ebuka. AGK here is already a member of this family. By the virtue of getting married to your sister. I, 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 I do not understand. Huh? The very one you want to read his will did not like him even while he was alive. Huh? 
I am sure he wouldn't want him to be here. So why are you allowing him to be here? Eh, hey, Barrister? Barrister, please go ahead. Ebuka, my brother, has um, made himself a troublemaker. So I suggest you brief that aside and um, proceed. Thank you very much. So, my opinion has become inconsequential that you have to instruct him to move on? Ebuka, hey, no one is saying that your opinions are inconsequential. The truth is that you have to accept the fact that AGK here is already a member of this family. As long as he remains a husband to your sister, he is a part of this family. Um, in the absence of every other distraction to this meeting, I, I think we have to go straight to the business of the day. Alright, I'm going to play a video on this telly via electronic transmission and I would like everyone to watch the video attentively because in there is your late father's will. Hey, Barrister. What about the hard copy? Do you want to read my father's will through soft copy? I don't get it. Why didn't you print the hard copy of my father's will? Yes, this is a good question, I must admit. Uh, the truth is, when your father was alive, I tried to convince him to pen down his will. But he kept uh, procrastinating on the basis that it wasn't yet time. It's unfortunate that the appropriate time met him on the sick bed. So he had to do his will in an unconventional way. Chief, you have to stop talking this way. I believe you're not living yet. All you have to do is to be courageous. Have faith in God. You are coming out of this state stronger. Barrister, my friend. I like your consoling words, but the truth is that I'm very weak. I can feel my spirit leaving me. I'm not just saying it. My time on earth is almost coming to an end. And I need to use this last moment to put some certain things straight. I'm talking about my will. Chief, you and I know that uh, you are not in a perfect health condition for the details of the will now. I might not be mentally and physically fit to go through details. I don't plan to go through that path. I intend to do it in an unconventional way. Do you have your phone there? Of course I do. Okay, there are certain things I want to say. I would like you to do a virtual recording. How things will be done after I'm gone. So I, I employ everyone to please watch the video. My children, I greet all of you. By the time you'll be seeing this video, I will be far gone. But I want you to know that I decided to use this medium to convey my will to you because of the state of my health. A situation I don't believe I can survive. I have not written any will before now. And since I don't have the time and strength for details, I will make this as brief as possible. I will entrust everything on Chisera to manage. She will be the CEO of the company. She will manage the funds and the affairs. At least until Iberia and Emeka must have been through with their university education. Then everyone can get their due with fairness and equity. 
I decided to give this responsibility to Chizora because of her unbiased nature and because of her prudence in spending. I know for sure that she will not spend my money traveling overseas purchasing cars and houses. She will give everyone his fair share. And I expect all of you to give her maximum support. Thank you, my children. I love you so much. And I wish you success in all your endeavors. Bye. All right. What you just watch now is your late father's will and must be adhered to to the last letter. Rubbish. Thank you very much, Barrister. <laughs> I will do everything within my past to make my late father proud. Once again, thank you. You're welcome. Please, uh, in here are uh, documents to your late father's properties. He demanded that I hand them over to you on this very day. Congratulations. Thank you, Barrister. Uh, one more thing. I would like to know if you will like to retain my service, my services uh, as a family lawyer. Or do we call it a put here? Barrister, you have served my late father very well over the years. And I don't think any of my siblings will want you out. Not at all. So we are not going anywhere. <laughs> we still need your services. Thank you. You're welcome. Congratulations, Sister Zara. I'm so happy for you. Thank you. Me too, sis. I'm so happy for you. Congratulations. Okay. You know I've always trusted Daddy's decision. And I trust you do justice to the wheel. Of course. Mr. Tazara is a nice person. <laughs> I know you do great, sis. What? Jesus Christ. Are you for real? Can you see? You see what I'm talking about, right? You have seen it, right? This is unbelievable. No, no, no. How can your father do that? Eh? Even when you are the first son of the house. After all I've done. After all my efforts. My father intentionally wants to humiliate me. See, your father may have chosen your sister over you. Uh, but I think there is more to it. Yes, maybe you don't have the best relationship with your father. Maybe something may have informed his decision. Considering the fact that he made those pronouncements on his sick bed. Yes. Yes. Um. See, Ebuka, my man. Your father's properties belong to you and your siblings. But you should be in charge because you are the first son. And not the other way around, one day. I have to open your eyes. You have to open your eyes. I think you go nice, right? There must be something that I'm clearly oblivious of. Come to think of it, she is that I claim that dad blessed her union with that fool 
and ask them to live in, the, in this house after their wedding. Then came the barrister with his own claim that father gave Chisa the right over everything and died immediately after. If all these claims are to be believed, then it simply means that father blessed the so-called marriage before making his last wish. And if that is also the case, then something must have happened earlier which no one is talking about. Yes, I think that it is. There is obviously something that I'm not aware of, but I must find out. I must. Bertha, who are you working for? What? Asani, who paid you to do this? Is it my sister? Or the so-called husband? Excuse me? Hey, 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 hey! I'm not here for this. Did you hear what I said? I know my father too well. And I know him as someone who does not change his mind on something easily. Now answer me. How come about the video? Or was it that thought? How ridiculous! I know in every way trying to accuse me of being double standard. Do you know I can sue you for defamation of character and, and, and false accusations? Barrister, spending that sum. Your English and your threats will have no bearing if I find out that that video was talked about. Or that you did something that informed my late father's decision in willing everything to my sister. Who even told you that your father willed everything to your sister? Where did you get those informations from? Your sister is just in charge of affairs for now. And what difference does that make? Since I had to beg cheese out for money, what difference does that make? Let me tell you something. Make sure your hands are clean. Because if I find out that you played a role in that broad day robbery, I will come for you. And I will be so hard on you. Help me. I'm not talking with you, I will come for you so bad. I will come for you so bad. I will come for you. Now what's going on? Mm. What's going on? What's happening? <laughs> eh? Masi Oko. Okay. Uh, no. What's going on now? What's happening? Uh, Mama, where's Papa? <laughs> Can somebody talk to me now? Where's Papa now? <laughs> Bros, I beg, where's Papa? Mama, where's Papa? Where's Papa? Your father is inside. He's inside. Go and see for yourself. <laughs> Papa. <laughs> Go and see for yourself. Oh. Ah. Hey! What happened? What happened? What happened? What happened to Papa? What happened to Papa? Oh my God! What happened to Papa now? What happened? What happened? What happened now, Papa? What happened? Don't 
I'm what you mean by nonsense, okay? Are you freaking kidding me right now? This is an office for God's sake. What if someone had walked in on us? What stupid explanation do you have to give for this stunt you just pulled right now? Hey, don't worry yourself, okay? I'll handle it. I know it's an office and I like it in the office, huh? <laughs> Let me give it to you, huh? Let me give it to you. You will like it. I want to have it back. I want to touch this thing. Stop it now. Stop it. In your widest dream. You must be in a dream island, boy. Yes. I love to dream. <laughs> hmm? Mm hmm You keep dreaming then. Now listen to me. Your mates are out there looking for meaningful things to do with their lives. Why you are here looking, looking for a woman to get on her skin? Calm down. You've got to grow up, boy. Don't insult Seriously. me. Seriously. Hey, I said don't insult me, okay? Stop it. You should be happy that I want to have you. You should be happy that I want to. Uh, stop it. Stop it, okay? Don't be stupid. Don't be a stupid girl. Allow me to go there. Okay, hey, did you um did you check the files? Have you sent it? You have not sent any files there. Yes, I called you. What is this? Have you suddenly lost your voice? Explain that to me. It is, uh, I, I, I think it, it is. is. It is, you now stammer. An audit firm conducted an assessment on you. And this is what you have to offer? Well, that, uh, in, See, in a... aren't you ashamed of yourself? I made you human resource manager in this company. And all you have to offer is, is what is written in that file. Well, Father, it has not been long I assumed that position. You know that, right? So you need to give me time, eh? I, I, I'm trying my best. Can you hear yourself speak? Can you listen to yourself? Are you suggesting in any way that one year is not enough for you to know what to do in that office? But you are a master in going after everything in skirts within the company premises. Um, 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 father, with all due respect, you don't need to judge me because of the little play I had with Tony the other day. Eh? It wasn't anything serious. Of course, it wasn't anything serious. There's nothing serious about your life. Go out there and see thousands of graduates roaming the streets looking for employment. But you mess this one up that you got on the platter of gold on the basis that you are my son. And father, there are several things you need to put into consideration. Eh? 
Auditors can be wrong in their assessments too. You got this job, not because of merit, but because of sentiment that you are my son. But I will tell you, you will not keep this job on the basis of sentiment. If you continue in this manner, I will either demote you or sack you. Now leave my presence. My brother, calm down, eh? It has not gotten to this, eh? Calm down. I, I, I will improve, okay? I, I will do better. All I need is uh, training. Just instruct them to, I need to go to, um, uh, I think one of our, to, to the States. Let me go and do some kind of six months training program in the United States of America. So calm down. Uh, leave my I'll presence just... before I descend on you. Leave! Okay. Ebuka, how can he continue with all I have built? Ebuka is a disappointment. Baby, I'm here. Jesus. Baby, baby, it's not what you think. Uh, 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 baby. What is going on here? We're looking for it. Baby, it's not what you think. She means nothing to me. I can explain. Babe, I can't. Babe, babe, shoo, babe. Shoo. What do you mean it's not what you think? Who is she? What is all this? You can't explain again? Can't cut your tongue? No. What is wrong with you, Benjamin? It's barely two weeks I caught you cheating on me with another girl. You pleaded. You begged. You swore that it would never happen again. What is wrong with you? What do they have, those girls you are cheating on me with? What do they have that I don't have? What is your problem? I don't know what came over me. Like, I never planned it. It is the work of the devil. Isn't it obvious who the devil is? Listen. Go back and continue with your food because it's getting cold. No, no, no. Please, don't leave me. Please, I beg you. She means nothing to me. I don't even love her. She means nothing to me. You're the one I love. Please, please don't leave me. I beg you, please. Please, Zara. I understand. That's why I said you should go in.